All right, this week I am gonna bring you a video that changes my play style to adapt to all the comments that I've had on my previous videos on support. This should be a lot of fun. The idea behind it is I wanna get less of these. And I wanna get more of these. So. Let me start off with the character that I'm gonna pick for this, and that is going to be the Mighty Moira. Now, the feedback that I had gotten was to spend more time focused on heals, less time focused on DPS. I do wanna start with, uh, I do appreciate everybody that provided feedback and talked a little bit about my gameplay. I'll recap that right now. So a couple of things that popped up was one, um, when I go into my DPS phase, I tend to not pay attention as much to the team. And um, and I'll do things like waking up uh, a sleeping hero after Anna hits the dart, things like that. And I'm just not paying attention. So I took that feedback and I wanted to make my game better, uh, specifically in competitive, right? Because I've been hard stuck gold five um, slash gold four and kind of flirting with silver one. And I really feel that my gameplay can improve. At the same time, I do agree that um, after going back and analyzing some of my gameplay, I'm definitely not at that platinum level yet, and it's going to take some work. So going through this, what I wanted to do is really kind of focus on that heals perspective and take a little bit of the DPS out. And I kind of set some ground rules for myself was one, I can do DPS if I'm in a 1v1 situation or if I'm the last hero standing, then I'm going to focus on my DPS. But for this gameplay here, what I really wanted to do, and you'll kind of see it in the background, is I wanted to focus on my heals, kind of stand back a little bit, uh, focus my orbs. And when I don't make a mistake, then you'll see a lot more healing orbs coming out and really kind of figure out what's going on around me instead of that uh, DPS stuff. Now you will see in the gameplay itself that sometimes I do hit my right click by accident or kind of like in that panic. And um, there are some times that I see in the gameplay where it would have been good to use DPS. But for me to kind of get out of the DPS only mode or highly uh, DPS output, I really had to focus on the heels. So what the gameplay that you're seeing right now is very intentional with what I'm doing with Moira. So before you roast me, just know that that is a huge intent for me is to try not to do DPS again, unless I'm in a 1v1 situation and or I'm the last person that is standing. So in this gameplay here, you can see we started off fairly well, um, had a pretty good fight. Our tank does pretty good. So I'm just trying to keep him focused and then look around and see, you know, is there somewhere my orb can go? Um, one thing that I did notice that I don't look behind me as much, but there is a Kiriko behind me. And I, I really do believe that that Kiriko should be, you know, focused on theirs. Obviously, if they need help, they're going to call it out. But for this, this was just really focusing on this team fight and seeing if I could make a difference of just focusing on heals. You see, we go down here, so I switch over to um, DPS and try to back out. And then I'll make a huge mistake coming up, but I will talk about that in a second. For right now, though, I'm just trying to survive, get out of here, wait for our tank to uh, reset, and then I walk right back into the other team, which is probably not ideal, but we're gonna do a little bit of DPS here and then try to back off. All right, now you'll see us re-engaging. We didn't have a really good re-engage here. Um, I thought for sure that I could save some of these folks and then I just panic alted. This was a really bad alt on my part. Uh, my intent here was to hit alt to save our tank, but I just wasn't in a good position. And uh, ultimately I waste the alt uh, in that play, but that's okay. Um, you know, it's a learning experience for sure. And I got to think about those delays when I want to do something, I can't hesitate. Uh, ideally, what I needed to do here was probably hit my alt three seconds before or just give up on it and back off, um, which we didn't really do a good job of anyways. And then uh, wait to regroup and re-engage in the fight. And uh, you could see right from the get-go before I had even gotten there, uh, we had jumped in and then I just kept that going. That was a big mistake on our part. 
and a big mistake on my part that I wish I could have redone. I feel like I'm having a pretty good time here just learning to be focused on the heels and this seems to be working for me because again, this is really counterintuitive on my gameplay, but you can see there I have almost 3,800 heals or 3,700 heals, and I'm only sitting at about 400 DPS. So um, really focusing my game on the heals. Um, and I'm doing that specifically again, just to reiterate, is to bring my healing game to another level. And then I'll bring and reintroduce DPS back to Moira because I like playing Moira, but I want to be a good teammate for my teams. And based off of the feedback that I was getting on my previous videos, I just had a lot of work to do. One with positioning, two with understanding what's going on, and then uh, really focusing the heals versus DPS. And that's what you're seeing right here. One of the issues that you'll see that I have too in the gameplay that I think is pretty interesting is um, in some of the cases, my folks get pretty split and I have a hard time splitting between one or the other. I tend to really try to focus my heels on the tank and sometimes that can be good, but sometimes that can be to the detriment. So I'd love to hear from you folks. You know, if you were in my boat, what would you do here? Would you um, focus on the tank or would you focus on the DPS with the heels or does it just depend on how well each one of them's playing? So that way um, we can maximize our uh, team comp. All right, so I skipped forward a little bit on some of the video just because uh, for the sake of time, but you'll see we're getting towards the end of our fight. Again, this round has been solely focused on um, healing and healing my teammates. Um, in some of the feedback, I did hear about how much healing actually goes towards Moira herself, you know, and I agree on that too, but this was again, just an experiment for me to see if this would help my game. And, uh, I'll give you some feedback after these fights are done, but, uh, you know, this was hard to do. This was hard not to hit that right click. And it would have been nice to almost have like an old school iMac um, mouse where I could only hit one button. I think that would have made it a little bit easier because you do see that I do like to favor my DPS a little bit. But uh, we tend to do pretty well uh, in these fights for the most part. I just felt like, you know, if I would have had a good DPS game as well, we probably would have done a little bit better. Again, for the sake of practice though, this was intended just so I could bring my healing game up a little bit and uh, try to make a difference in that. And then uh, try to also get better with my alt as well. And I, we did make quite a good uh, hold on these folks, but as you can see coming out, it's pretty much over at this point. It's uh, we're going to do our best to try to hold them, but with all the alts coming and everything, it's, you know, doesn't end our way. Um, again, I feel like if I was doing DPS, I probably would have done better. Okay. So here, here's my take on doing this exercise. So first and foremost, I do want to say everybody that did leave feedback, um, definitely take that feedback seriously all the time. There was definitely some critical feedback in there that uh, I, I had to go back and watch my gameplay. And that kind of gave me the idea to do this, to do like heals only Moira um, with some ground rules. Again, you know, doing DPS in a 1v1 or if you're the last person standing. And you did see that I made the mistake a few times and switched to DPS. But uh, for the most part, I was able to hold on to the heals. And this was a really good exercise. This really actually made me look at the game a little bit differently. Um, I don't know how exactly I'm going to incorporate this back into my DPS phases, but I played a few games after this and you'll, you'll see it in my next video as well. Um, where, you know, I come out as mighty Moira, but, uh, for the most part, I thought this was a good exercise and that was based off of the feedback that the community left on my previous video. So again, I want to thank you folks for that. This really gave me a good idea and a better look at what the game is from an overall perspective, especially in the middle of the game and, uh, kind of gave me a different perspective to the game and it was uncomfortable. That was the big thing. And in order to grow, I think you have to get out of your comfort zone and that kind of proved it here. So on that note, I'm going to leave you with this. Again, if you like the content, hit the subscribe button down below, share out the video, hit that like. We definitely want to continue to grow. We're almost at 100 subscribers and uh, we've just surpassed 400 hours of watch time, which was great. We also had 10,000 views on our videos last week, and uh, we are encroaching on 50,000 views. So for quite a small channel, uh, we are getting out there, and that is because of you folks. And I appreciate uh, all the feedback that you folks have. And until next time, that's Soul Betty, over and out.